It's uh, Nicholas and Alison Lockle here. Uh, we are the authors of the Zakora series. I'll just give you a look. I actually have a book, but uh, that is the cover for the books. Very nice. <laughs> doing is taking part in Hachette's uh, Where I Write project, which is a cool project where um, authors get to uh, show off where they like to write. Um, and that's why we are here at the book cafe in Brisbane. Um, so we'll for those people, yes. Oh, I'll let you... uh, we'll just show you around where we write, so we'll just yeah. walk around the so, cafe. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, um, at the, we actually launched the, uh, the self-published edition of Zakora here at the Book Cafe. Um, and so, and since then, uh, we've actually, you know, we, we come here a lot to write. And it's usually the first place that I come every morning yeah, for, my, for my coffee. And start yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll take you inside and show you around. So that there is Sophia. She's uh, one of the owners of the book cafe. And Max is around there somewhere. I think he's around. Oh, he's probably gone out back. Hey, Alicia. <laughs> Uh, there's Max. He's one of the owners of the Max Cafe. <laughs> so those guys have been, you know, our biggest supporters of us, uh, and uh, they've been, you know, backing us since day one. But I uh, will take you back to where we usually write. Take you through the bookstore. Here we are. So we're just going to go to the back of the, the store where we like to write. So that's our our messy our messy desk. <laughs> there we are. So um. So what we're doing today is we're just showing you off um, what we, how we like to write and a bit about our process. Um, so our manuscript for book three, we're actually doing the structure edit um, on book three at the moment. Um, but what else do we have? Uh, um, this is the... Oh, that, that yeah, th this here, it, like, what, I've, what I like, how I like to write is I usually like to write longhand. Um, and so this so is this actually is the first basically version of the manuscript. Yeah, so this is actually book three. So it's very um very, dodgy. Yeah, very messy, very messy. But the way that we usually really work is I'll um Ali and I usually sit still and we um sit at a cafe and we work and write um and basically we plot out the story first before we do anything. Yeah. And then um co writing I basically do the first draft. Yeah. And then Nick goes on and basically... Well, I'll take all of Ali's good stuff. I'll, I'll read through Ali's draft of the book, um, which we've kind of worked on together. Um, and then I'll take all of her good stuff and I'll write my own draft of the story. And then from there, we um, just work and edit together. But yeah, so that's pretty much our writing process. Um, what do we have on the table here? Oh, this is our um, book books, so... Yeah, so yeah, they were the is, original this is before books. before we picked up by his chef. So that's but no, they just look awesome. That, so we really love the new covers. They're pretty cool. So really exciting. And we're just about to get. So we're yeah. quite excited. Yeah. So the, the book actually comes out on the uh, the thirtieth of June, so the end of this month. So it should be cool. Um, yeah. This is pretty much how we like to write. We always like to write in cafes. We've never really worked from home. I kind of find. We're just gonna meet up at a cafe and start getting into it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what else do we... Oh, that's right, we need to do a reading, don't we? Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll film Ali doing a reading and then I'll take over from her. <laughs> awesome, I'll flip. Uh, Nelly knew that the end was near. One more solid attack and he would have victory. The two stormers charged directly at each other with their weapons raised, ready to strike. The crowd held their breath as a collision between Violet and Barlow was imminent. Nalik braced himself for a colossal impact when his eyes, focusing far beyond the half giant, saw a dark figure moving through the crowd towards Irvine and Sky. It was the same dark cloaked figure who was burnt so vividly into Nalik's memory from the night they had lost their parents. Time slowed to a halt as horror forced through his body. The Salus, he whispered, completely oblivious to the huge stormer coming straight for him. Start in chapter 5, The Last Draw. The dark cloak figure moved seamlessly through the crowd of spectators who were completely absorbed in the imminent clash of the final two stormers. On the water, Nalik stood frozen on his stormboard, still hurtling towards the half giant opponent, his half giant opponent. With his eyes locked on the crowd, Nalik saw Vasalos stand behind Sky, looming over her. 
Irvine was completely oblivious to his presence. In one fluid movement, Vasalos clasped his pale, withered hands over Skye's mouth and pulled her beneath the depths of his cloak. Skye thrashed about, but still Irvine remained unaware amongst all the movement, noise and suspense of the crowd. Her wide, fear-filled eyes met Nalik's before she completely disappeared from view. No, Nalik screamed. Raman, focused on his opponent, unleashed a sickening blow from his warhammer, slamming Nalik squarely in the chest. Pain shot through his torso in a powerful surge. He was smashed from his stormboard, but not far enough. With a sickly thud, the back of his head made contact with his board, sending him into a dazed state. Old memories resurfaced as he sank into the depths of the lake. Cool, so that's just our reading. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for uh, joining us today uh, for Where I Write. And uh, we hope you have enjoyed yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you at an event real soon. Thanks, Thanks for guys. See you. See you guys. If we can turn it off. If we can turn this thing <laughs> off. There we are. We're signing off. See ya. Bye.